Keep preaching that. Keep preaching that, Joe. I'm with you on that. <laughs> well, Warren, I wanted to get some thoughts about the banking business, and I know we don't have that much time here, so I'll start with one question, and maybe we can bleed in, into the next hour on this. Uh, but as I was reading your your letter and and some of your comments about Bank of America, I also noticed uh, that you and you've done this now several times. Uh, you, you've praised uh, Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan, and and yet. Uh, I realize that you are not an investor in J.P. Morgan, and I'm curious why not. Well, we own stock in Wells Fargo. We got the Bank of America situation, and uh, uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. I own some shares of J.P. Morgan. Personally, right? <laughs> Personally, right, right. You just you just got some news from me, Andrew. <laughs> but what I, what I what I specifically reference, and this is this is important. Jamie Dimon, I think, writes the best annual letter in, 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 in corporate America. I think you will learn, I think every every viewer will learn something by reading his annual report. They'll learn a lot by reading his annual report. He is a, he, he, he thinks well and he writes extremely well and he works a lot on the report. He's told me that. And uh, that's, a, that's an annual report worth reading. Most annual reports aren't worth reading, but that one is. Why would you buy that stock for your personal account and not for Berkshire? Well, because Berkshire doesn't own it, and it's what I can buy without having any possible problems about conflict. All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here. When we...